Now, as the ambassador of the Brown community, I see a lot of um, blind dates with Daisy people, and then I saw Big Brother. There's a sing, a sing, you know, full bug and everything. He won the whole thing, and there's a shift in our culture. Cause I remember when I was younger, bro. None of this, none of these brown people, these brown shows showing dating between brown individuals. It, it, it just wasn't a thing, bro. I was in fear when i used to date in high school bro i remember i used to i was talking to this mexican i remember i would have to sneak upstairs go in my room lock the door turn the lights off because i told my parents i'm going to bed and they're like you're going to bed at 7 30 i'm like yes talking to her like this like yo hola mamacita que da mira puta. so there's this youtube channel called pop shift it's all about daisy culture which is i think okay all jokes aside i think that's amazing that's amazing that um representing daisy culture like that let's just react to brown people dating you know let's see how it goes we see all these blind dates with amp side men let's just see some brown folks some stinky poopy heads they see me ah. they hate that guy is fine before too before i came here i was drinking some wine just to like ease my nerves up my name's nick hill wait 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 why is your face so tense bro is he a model i bet you he's a model nick hill Nick Hill? Is that a Daisy name? Nick Hill? Nick Hill? Wait, I don't want to say that too fast. I might get in trouble. 24, I'm six feet tall and I'm a full-time model. I knew he was a model! How'd I know he was a model? Because that pose, when a normal, it's just a normal camera pan, he's already like... On a blind date in New York are like close to zero. Damn. I think I've been on like a hundred dates. A uh, 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 <clears throat> hundred dates? Since my last relationship. Damn! Pooja! Is her name Pooja? No, okay. Let's guess her name, guys. I'm gonna say Pooja. My name is Pip. I'm... The fuck? Pip? That's a Daisy name? Pip Deep? Pip Deep! Oi! Right, Pip Deep! No, her name's not Pip. It's shortened for something, all right? It's like, I, like, I, like, it's short. Her name is not Pip. It's short. It's probably Pip Deep. Pip Deep? Pip the Wingspan. close are you to me? Very, I feel like very close. <laughs> very. Here's one thing you need to do before. Oh. We know each other. What? Yeah. <laughs> we know each other. <laughs> hey. Incredible. What's up? How are you doing? Good. How are you? <laughs> good, 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 good. How Incredible. Do you guys know each other? Uh, How do they know each other? TikTok. TikTok. Have you ever made the first move? No. Uh, I mean, I guess that's not normal. I don't think. I don't ever? think. No, I mean, like I. Look, when you look like him, you don't have to make the first move. When you look like me, you have to. It's, it's being real. If you're an average dude, he's obviously not average. He's a model. Fuck's sake! Y'all know what I'm trying to say. No balls. I like. I can't make the first move. It's just not my thing. How old are you? She's she made like the first move. Yeah, ha have you ever heard aunties be like, oh, she's like flirty. Like, aunties, listen. Now we're on the topic of aunties. Fuck all my aunt. Why, why is it? Uh, I just can't. I, I talked about brown aunties in, in, in a couple of videos before, but they're like, bro, just because you got arranged marriage, all right? Just because another girl in your family makes the first move because she doesn't want to be arranged marriage to a, to a dork, it doesn't mean she's flirty. Dang, man. I'm tired of brown aunties. I'm just tired of aunties, bro. Obviously, it's, it's, it's just a big... It, let me... Is there any other culture that has just toxic aunts? Like, extremely toxic aunts. Is it just Indian culture? It's probably every culture, right? What about opening up to someone scares you the most? Scary to, like, let yourself be known. And then I think it's just, like, every... They can use it against you. If they're a bad person, you know. Has <laughs> ah! Bro, she's been on a hundred dates. I can't get past that. Like I'm not saying she's ugly or nothing, but dude, a hundred dates and you haven't found one person? You went on a hundred days and haven't found one person that you're compatible with? Who's the problem here? All right. It's a, it's just a question. If I go on a hundred dates, bro, I'll probably find someone in the, in the first four. It's like God telling you you're the problem. Pip, pip squeak. I don't owe anything to anyone. Like if, if you're my friend, I'll open up to you and I'll tell you everything. But if you're not, if you're just some random person that I'm on a date with, like... And I don't think that I'm going to see you again. Like, I don't have to tell you anything about me. Right? Yeah. Am I looking for a relationship? Was that your question? No. Why is he, looking for why is he here then? Makes sense. I think start compromising. I don't think there should be compromise in a relationship. Yeah. So am I looking for a what? relationship? What? No. What the am fuck I is he talking about? Yeah. This fool dude's a dumbass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why'd you, you do this? There should be compromise in a relationship. What? That's the whole point. This fool, he better not be Punjabi, bro. I swear he no, his nick is Nick Hill. He's not Punjabi. He's not Punjabi. 
It's, We're like, safe. It's, it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday evening. You know, of all the things I could be doing, it's either like hanging out with my friends or like if I had a a shoot for something. It's one of those two things. So I was just like, okay, fuck it. Like, why not? I could meet some cool people, right? Make some new friends. Are you having fun? Yeah. Okay. Are you having fun? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Cheers. Don't out. My definition of peace is just being in your company and hearing you talk, and I can just zone out and just like witness you exist. Oh, I like your ring. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you a feminist? <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, well, I guess that's not a bad thing. Look at the evil in my eyes. <laughs> Bro, this is boring. These guys are boring. Quickly, the compliments that have stuck with me the most are ones that have to do with how I make you feel. Like I had this one girl tell me that she just, she's like, oh, I don't really feel like this with a lot of people, but you make me feel comfortable. You make me feel like safe. Okay. Uh, I don't talk to her anymore. I've never talked to her since, but uh, the, the idea is- that conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I was just Why? like, wow, this is too- What? So the question was, what is something someone can say to make you fall in love? And this food dude right here had a girl that said, you make me feel safe. And he cut her off after that comp. What is wrong with this guy? So you didn't like it? No, I did. What the fuck is wrong with this dude? Making us, making us look bad. I did. It's just, <laughs> listen, it's complicated. Did um, you catch feelings when she said that? No, but like also, okay. Then that's not applicable. Here's the thing. I can get attached to someone very quickly. And I can get to a point where I can tell the person that I love them. Dude, I, I don't know how, how people can do that. How can you love someone and not have feelings? Is this is the, this guy's a food dude. He's an idiot. You are right. lying? <laughs> no, I'm not lying. I'm telling them that I that I truly do love and love them and care for them. But like But you don't I was in a relationship with someone where near the end of it I was like, I just think we're better off as friends. Jesus right? Christ. I still love you as a person. Oh my god. Um but I don't know if I could love you as a partner. That's different. Those two things are very different. Okay. I feel like I rambled. What about you? No, no, that's interesting. Have you been to therapy? Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> My therapist would have to go find a therapist after talking to me. Bro, you're fighting, you're fighting, you're fighting demons that just don't exist, bro. You're fighting demons that just don't exist. You're just a confused man that's just afraid of commitment, I think, bro. You're fighting demons that just don't exist. You're a model. You, you don't have any demons. Jesus. This is what pisses me off about. I'm not just talking about. I'm talking about people in general. They just fight demons that just don't. What is wrong with people that. You don't always have to be fighting demons, all right? Stop making up fake demons that you. Like, like you're, you're just insecure, most of the part, most of the time. This guy's fighting. I'm not saying he is, but he's obviously fighting demons that just don't exist. Yeah, what about you? What's something? My therapist is gonna well, yeah, fucking, you're a model. What the fuck in New York? Like, what the shit are you talking about? You freaking food dude. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> the day was actually a lot more fun than I thought it would be. My initial reaction when taking off the blindfold was like, oh crap, I know this girl. I was like, oh fuck, this. There's no like surprise element to it, you know, because I know her, I know her ethos, I know everything. But I, I thought you said you didn't know her. Oh, that's say. what she said. Super fun girl. She's super nice, super fun. I'd love to hang out with her again. I think this is better than my worst dates for sure. Like, I think it was still fun to like make a drink together. And I think it was fun to have these questions that are, I don't know, pretty like, pretty deep. Um, and I think, I think he's not looking for a relationship clearly. And like I am, so that's a pretty fundamental. Yeah, at least you know, girl. I think I was a little closed off to the idea of us like maybe like creating a spark just because i'm like i know you like i i don't see you like that. how do they know and each other that much off of tiktok dms yeah. i don't want her to walk away from this and be like okay cool like you know he's gonna get my number he's gonna text me because like I'd, I'd hang out there again as friends but nothing more i don't think we would go on a second date no like i don't think i'd go on a second date with her but i'd love to hang out with her again i think values wise i'm very aligned with the people i choose to keep as friends um, and I don't think we're aligned on values. Hey, that's good. Man, that guy was boring, man. I thought I thought this channel was going to be more about, you know, the Indian culture.